Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and today we're going to open up a can using a very unconventional can opener. Yeah, so it's, um, it's not the whisk, it's, it's just that. So maybe it's not that unconventional. But uh, the honest truth is, I've never opened up a can with one of these. I bought a couple of them, I put them in my EDC pack, and um, I, I'm kind of guessing how to use it, but uh, I've never done it before. And I think it's really important to use all your gear and just to you know, know how it works and not be too embarrassed to say, I don't have a clue exactly how to do this and to practice with things. So let's give it a run. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! I, I haven't looked into how they work at all. I didn't read any instructions and I didn't look at any videos. I'm gonna guess my way through it um, and we'll see, we'll see how that works. Before we begin, um, I have some safety goggles because whenever you do anything, you're supposed to wear safety goggles. Actually, these are swimmer's goggles. These are in my kitchen because I use them when I cut onions. Although, the other day I, I cut five onions, and even with these, my eyes were still watering underneath. I think the gas went in my mouth and then kind of came up to my tear ducts from behind. I'm just kidding. I'm not really going to wear those. It's sort of a joke. Was it funny? Did you laugh? Yeah. I had some, some gloves here, but I'm going to see if I need the gloves. I just grabbed the gloves because it kind of has sharp edges. I don't know if it's going to like be cutting into my skin while I try to use it. So, let's, uh, let's give it a, a try here. I'm gonna, it looks like there's a little hook right there, um, and it, I, I bet you kind of hook that onto the bottom edge of the, the lip, and then there's kind of a blade, and I bet you kind of pivot it. Oh yeah, and it cuts right in, just like that. That's pretty easy, actually. A little more time consuming than my usual can opener, which is not an electric model or anything. It's just a regular uh, hand can opener, but it's a little bit more time consuming. This is a little more time consuming than that one. But uh, yeah, that's pretty easy. So this is a useful device if you uh, want to get into a can. I'm going to get all the way around this thing and we'll see what it's like getting the lid out because it's making a bunch of sharp corners. You know, we're all about safety. Wow. Should we speed this up? This is offensively slow. This isn't bad. You know who has a good video about how to do uh, can opening is, uh, what are they called? Full Spectrum Survival? I saw one the other day. They, they were opening up a can with a spoon. If you check out their video. It didn't look like a particularly efficient way of opening up a can. It would be the last way in the world you'd want to open up a can, but it would, it, they got the can open. They kind of just took the spoon and they were rubbing along the, the edge lip there for a while. And uh, it kind of rubbed the spoon down and it rubbed the, uh, the can open. And uh, they got it open though. So, yeah, this is working all right. So, this is definitely a good thing to put in your pack. It's very small, it only costs a couple bucks. And it gives you access to food resources that you might find in a post apocalyptic, zombie infested environment when we're all going to be eating cat food, dog food. Okay, so I, I got the last little thing here, and look, it's kind of coming up. I'm going to be careful. I, it might have made razor-sharp edges on the edge there. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Mm. Madras Sambar Indian, um, whatever you call it. Chutney? I don't know. I like Indian food a lot. Thanks for watching.